Hello and welcome, this is Carl the Landscape Guy, and today we're taking a look at this natural garden stream that I built five years ago. And I'm excited to show you how it's developed over the years. The upper part of the stream is about 8 meters long in which only a slight incline was installed so that the water flows calmly. This area runs along the patio and here you can relax quite well to the sound of the slow flowing water. For this reason the customer is also very satisfied. At the time of the creation of the brook, it was important that it wasn't present everywhere with loud splashing. Only in the second part of the creek are the several gradual barrages and levels. Due to the different distances and angles of the barrages to each other, the individual levels are barely visible and form a typical natural creek. At the end, the water then flows into the collecting tank and from there the water is pumped back into the beginning of the stream with a pump. This reservoir is also equipped with an overflow. In this picture you can see how the creek looked right after completion. First, it's noticeable that the vegetation has increased vigorously and all plants have grown a lot. From time to time, overgrown plants had to be removed from within the stream as well. I really like the perennial grasses and the small pines. They are a perfect match for the rock garden-like character. The installation of the root inhibiting layer in the stone area has proved to be a success. This kept the wheat growth and thus the maintenance efforts to a minimum. At the brook almost no structural changes have been made in the last five years. That means everything works as planned and the barrages function perfectly. Gradually, however, it's possible that the creek can be full with leaves and other organic material, especially in autumn. Which basically means that the water will be searching for alternate roots, causing water loss once it overflows the sides of the brook. Therefore, it's very important to keep the stream clean all year round. However, this is not difficult as the stream is accessible from all sides easily. Also, evaporation can result in water loss, especially with moving water. Evaporation is often underestimated, especially in summer. Small bodies of water that heat up quickly and also move over stones heated up by the sun are particularly affected by evaporation. It should be noted that a freshwater stream needs to be refilled more often than a pond. In this situation, groundwater is used, which is obtained regularly from pumping out the house drainage. Even rainwater can stock a stream, but due to the high amount of nutrition, one must also expect algae growth. If no ground or suitable rainwater is available, drinking water must be used, which is ideal for the stream, but costs money. This creek is a pondless stream with an underground water reservoir. Here is sizing particularly important. An 800 liter reservoir was used here, but today I would advise to use a larger water reservoir so that when strong evaporation occurs, there is still enough water stored until it can be replenished by ground or rainwater. 
but everything works perfectly and the pump is holding up as promised. Of course, an algae and moss surface has formed on the stones that are constantly wet with water. However, I find this particularly appealing and helps to give the creek that desired natural character. Even underwater, algae and small aquatic plants have settled. Here by the crossing, care must be taken to ensure that the algae and aquatic plants do not obstruct or hinder the path of the water. Or the water will accumulate and flow over the sides of the banks. With a 100% natural stream in the nature, this would not be a problem, obviously, and the water would just find a new way. But here, we have to make sure to minimize the possibility of water escape from the system. Even at dusk, the stream is an eye-catcher. The lighting provides nice accents and presents the natural beauty of the stream even at night. During the creation of the stream, we paid special attention to the natural effect. It can be said that five years after the completion, the goal has been achieved and the stream gives off a visible and natural character. Clearly, the successful result is due to the nature and intensity of maintenance contributed. Without it, this visual pleasing stream would be difficult to achieve. To create this natural stream, there's a video that you can find on my channel. I show you exactly how the stream is created step by step from beginning to end. I will link the video again and am always pleased about your feedback on this project. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was interesting, informative and helpful. Please subscribe to this channel for more gardening and landscaping videos. Good luck with your projects. Make your landscape your living space. I'm called the Landscape Guy. Mm -hmm.